Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you think you're doing? Oh, I'll only mope sat on you. Listen, mate, just take the rest of the day off. Give one of the girls a ring. Oh, two of the girls. <laughs> you two look like you're up to no good. Oh, watch out, Kendall's. Here we come. Oh, right, you, uh, you got room for a little one? She could do with some pampering, this one. Yeah, of course we have. <laughs> No, honestly, I'm up to my eyes in there. Oh, come on, it'll be fun. You heard her, Mum, she's busy. Honestly, enjoy. All right, then. See ya. See, See ya. ya. Peter, I'm not a charity case. Oh, right, in that case, I'll cancel the cocktails for tonight, then, if it goes against your principles. Whoa, whoa, cocktails? Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> Funny, isn't it? Never see her with many friends, do you? Well, yeah. She's got loads of friends. No, I mean girlfriends. People you'd share a face pack and a secret with. No. Definitely a man's woman, that one. Read that in Grazia, did you? Might have done. Well, from what I can see, she's a man's woman, son's woman, grand's woman. In fact, she's got time for everyone but herself. Come on. Up here, I promised myself an exfoliate. Guys, my first day at work and I didn't get the sack that is so worth celebrating. Oh. Just the one. Go on. Ooh, sit yourself down there. Blondie. Bar me here, please. I couldn't live with an alcoholic. Could you? Peter's a recovering alcoholic, there's a difference. Yeah, you get all the boring bits. No, I'd resent it, I know I would. Well, you don't have to be drunk to have fun. One large. White wine and one cranberry juice. We're going, actually. There you go. Courtesy of Big Deal McNeil. Well, I'll tell you what, why don't we drink these and then head off, mate? You know what? I'd never tire of punching that girl. Sharon. Look, if I've upset you... You haven't upset me. Good. Because I want us to be friends, obviously. See, the thing is, I've moved around quite a lot. So, I guess I'm just not used to this. This what? This goldfish bowl. Everybody knowing everybody else's business. Everybody having a history. We're not inbred, you know. Look, ten fingers, I've got ten toes and all. It's not even because of... Lee, <laughs> next time we were going off, eh? Lee. Look, I wasn't having a go. I mean, I suppose that's just what happens when you... Live in a five-mile radius of where you were born. Will you tell her, Peter? I do possess a passport. My sister lives in London. My dad's in Eastern Europe. I've even worked in Australia. Oh, OK. You stand there with your designer shoes and your hundred quid eyelights just passing through. Well, this is my life! Get that cleaned up. I pay you to serve the customers and not pick a fight with them. It wasn't me! This is Carla's night. Can you not hog the limelight just this once? You are? Got everyone turning around, staring at me. Oh, you think I'm trying to upstage the bride to be? Yeah, I think you're succeeding. Well, do you know what? I didn't even want to come here. It was his idea. So, do you know what? You could just. Oh, get stuffed. Would it have killed you to stick up for me? Uh, what's that supposed to mean? Instead of cozying up to Eva, you're supposed to be my husband. Yes, and she's your sister. Lee, I've lived with this all my life. Brothers not talking to sisters, sons not talking to fathers. Look, it is a miserable way to live. You know, all I wanted tonight was to just cheer you up a bit. You look nice. You can't build a family out of thin air. <sighs> She's had a falling out with you. Don't you talk for me. Oh, what's happened? All credit to you. Gave you your best shot. Now just go. I came here for you. For you? I didn't get a say. It's early days, yeah. You've been saying that for months. Do you know what? I was happy. Things were settling down, and then you show up, and you're everywhere, badging your way in. And she's there looking down her nose at me. I feel like I can't breathe. Oh, sweetheart, you're kidding yourself. No, you're kidding yourself. You think what we've got is so real? We're on our best behaviour all the time, and so are you. You're a cow, really. Uh, look, I just think you both need a brain. Yeah, permanent one. Oh, and then everything will fall into place, will it? You've just lost a baby, Leanne. You've had issues with your marriage. You can't trust your friend. It's not my fault. There she goes again, judging. We've got a life here. Jobs, little Simon. Oh, oh, suddenly she's attached to little Simon. Well, do you know what? I have tried. I have really tried to love you. But come on, let's face it, it's never going to happen, is it? Because you know what? If I had a baby, if I was ever that lucky to have a baby, I would crawl over broken glass to keep it. Please. And every time, every time I look at you, I cannot forgive you. So I'm asking you, please, just go. Because if you don't, we'll have to. And I don't think that's fair. You don't mean that. Watch me. Who does she think she is? She was upset. Oh, don't start defending her. Eve was as much to blame. 
does she not realise what you've given up, what we've given up to come here? She feels persecuted. <clears throat> I should be so persecuted. You've moved heaven and earth for that girl. She needs telling. No! No. What you did took blood and guts. She can't just chuck it back in your face. It won't sound right. Not coming from you. Will you tell her then? Go round there, it's not too late. Go. Whoa. All right, you've made your move. Sala, slow down. Leanne! Just slow down, will you? Leanne! 